The Asgard gods traveled to visit Aegir's palace, a sea deity deeply worshipped by sailors. The palatial banquets were legendary, particularly due to the outstanding mead. But Aegir was not very willing to organize a major feast for the gods, so he came up with an excuse. I would certainly want to welcome you all with my hospitality, but since you are many, I cannot produce the mead that you cherish so much. To satisfy the gods would require a huge cauldron, and the deed would be impossible without it. Tyr, the god of war, whose father was a huge giant named Hymer, knew that his father had a huge cauldron that would serve Aegir's requirements. Tyr and Thor set out to find the giant. When they arrived at the giant's house, the Asgard gods were welcomed by Tyr's mother and grandmother. Tyr asked his relatives to lend him the massive cauldron, but his mother said that Tyr would have to please Hymer, since this would be the easiest way to get what he wanted. The giant Hymer appeared and invited the gods to a meal. Thor was known for being a great glutton and consubstantiated this reputation by eating an entire ox. The giant, seeing the scene, said, I will have to go out and fish some whales, because I don't want to be known as a host who could not feed his guests. Thor promptly made himself available to follow the giant in his fishery, but he did not seem to care. This is not a job for the tiny residents of Asgard. The God of Thunder felt challenged and claimed he was a better fisherman than anyone else. They both entered a boat and went fishing. Hymer quickly caught two massive whales and considered the task to be finished. But Thor said he could fish something even bigger and paddled into deeper waters. You're crazy, Asgardian. This is Jormungand's territory, the snake of the world. Notwithstanding Hymer's warning, Thor used a bull's head as bait and started his fishing. The god felt that he had hooked something massive. Thor fought with the creature that he had just hooked. The gigantic serpent then emerged. Thor caught Jormungand. The desperate Hymer shrieked for Thor to cut off the line, otherwise they would be dragged to the bottom of the ocean. But Thor had already crossed paths with Jormungand when he visited Utgard's palace. Thor had been defeated that time, but he had promised to himself that he would defeat the colossal serpent one day. The clash between the god and the serpent was intense, but Thor managed to tire Jormungand, and the serpent lost some of its strength. Thor pulled the snake until it was close to his powerful hammer. When the god was about to strike it with a deadly blow, Hymer cut the line and Jormungand escaped at the last moment. Thor was enraged and would have crushed Hymer's head right there on the spot, but he still needed the cauldron. They both returned to the giant's dwelling and tasted the whale meat. Hymer then said, You certainly think that you are very powerful. You are not. If you can break my magic mug, you can take my cauldron. Thor grabbed the mug and slammed it hard against the wall. The wall fell down, but the mug remained intact. The giant laughed at Thor's attempt. My father is a hard-headed man. He will never give us the cauldron, Tyr declared. Hard-headed, the god thought. The god then hit the giant's head with the mug. The magic vessel crashed into pieces. Still dizzy from that strike, he said, Get out of my territory and take the damn cauldron with you. Thor and Tyr then returned to Aegir's palace. In that place, every god had the opportunity to enjoy the delicious mead made by Aegir. But Thor could not forget Jormungand and promised that he would eventually kill that tenebrous creature.